so today we will go for a very important asan that is ardh halasan half block pose this particularly ardh halasan for its contraindications very important uh, no pregnant ladies can do it it uh, gives a lot of pressure in tummy and that is not advisable in pregnancy if somebody has a surgery of thigh calf or the pelvic region or abdomen it is again not recommended those people who have a severe sciatica because it has a very high pressure on the thighs and so so it is not recommended for those people again it flush the blood reverse way in your brain somehow because the legs are at the higher potential higher height so as a result of it there's a flushing of blood in the face so anybody who has any ear problem or kind of sinus they should not do it or they should connect with their physician and then they can do it so these are the some of the contraindications for uh, half plow pose or hal- ardha halasan let's go for its kriya or process uh, ardha halasan is actually uh, the final f- stage of some of the asanas but this some of the asanas are very important to do the first is dandasan so we should able to do dan- dandasan where the legs are straight okay and vertebral column straight second is paschimottanasan we should do take a deep breath and try to touch your toes so we should able to do that okay this is the paschimottanasan so second asan try to push yourself as as down as possible again uh, this is also a kind of a uh, second difficulty level asan so one should actually go for this practice before the ardha halasan because this will be used in ardha halasan the third important is actually a uh, leg lock pose that is a baddha konasan so here what you can do you can try to keep your both the legs folded but the foot feet opposed to each other and they are joined so this so that you have a stretch somewhere in the uh, groin as well as in the uh, the thigh muscles so that when you do halasan it will be easy for you to lift the leg and hold them that is a third pose one should do okay one can do butterfly also so that it will free up the muscle the next which is actually a kind of supta ardha machindrasan that is to be done so you lie down and hand straight let's keep our both the hands this way perpendicular to our body and bring our one leg left leg here in opposite side left leg on the right side and see towards the left it is also known as ardha markatasan and also it is a supta machindrasan this is the one so that your abdominal muscles and thigh muscles will have a stretch similarly from the other side one leg straight right leg i'm seeing toward the right and i'm actually taking my right leg on the left side try to touch it to the ground but seeing on the right side and you will find this way we can free up our muscle coming to the halasan position 
there are a number of ways which are given for halasan we'll go for one or two ways how the halasan is done so first and very foremost way of halasan is that you can do it by one leg and before that you can try for padangushtasan so hand straight one leg folded very simply you hold this leg padangushtasan ek padma asana kare ek hasta padangushtasan okay this is the padangushtasan come back very slowly relax. hello hello can you hear me you are sure sorry hello you can't hear me i can hear you sorry are you able to hear me okay let's do it the with the other leg one and two ek padma ek hasta padangushtasan so this is all a preparation of half plow pose so in half plow pose be straight and then you can have even the folding of leg and then you can lift your legs straight and look at your toes okay and you will find that you have uh you will actually try to bend your knees try not to bend your knees be straight try that your back of head should be touching the ground don't do this you will get actually prone to do, do that don't do that and you will find immense pressure on thighs hips and your tummy abdomen the blood is flushing on the towards the face there is a huge stretch in your tummy and that is benefit it gives when you come back hold it again and relax it is very very important that after the half plow pose you should take a bit of rest okay so bit of rest you should take again the second way of half plow pose is little bit uh the way in which you can give more and more stretch to your tummy so uttana padasan you can go in uttana padasan so raise your legs 30 to 40 degree 45 degree see towards the toes take a breath and then go to the ardha halasan observe the stretch you have in your complete thighs even calf okay and you may have a trembling if you hold them for long time come back very slowly be in the uttan padasan see towards the toes come back take a deep breath always breathe in by nose and breathe out by nose take a deep breath breathe in by nose and breathe out by nose come back this was the ardha halasan or half plow pose complete process you will find that number 1 we have a very high stretch on calf and thigh muscles so as a result of it it definitely increase the musculoskeletal coordination between our legs and our pelvic region there is a huge stretch in the pelvic portion and also the groin so it is one of the best asan to support to enhance the genetic function or genetic disorders if they are there it supports it and uh, third it gives immense pressure on tummy so anybody would like to 
reduce the tummy this is one of the best position to reduce the tummy side pat as well as if the people who are uh, in a pre uh, hypothyroid stage or post hypothyroid or thyroid uh, phase uh, it will help to increase the blood flow to our thyroid gland and it will help definitely to support the betterment of thyroid uh, very important it is the only asan which gives you a kind of relief in uh, the varicose veins because it will it will not cure varicose vein i i won't say that it's not good to say that it will actually support in uh, bringing the blood flow in the veins the in the varicose veins when the vein actually bring the deoxygenated blood from the muscle to towards our heart those are clogged and because of this clogging you will find there will be kind of the swelling is there the veins could be seen very clearly in case of varicose veins so uh, in varicose vein like thunderbolt position is prohibited even the lotus position is prohibited but the viparita karani or ardhalasan is what the the best for varicose vein people also people uh, uh, who are doing the varicose who are doing the ardhalasan uh, they should take care that even if they have varicose vein but if they have the high bp or they have the cardiac challenges please connect with your doctor before doing it always uh, you should always consider while doing any asan what is the other element we have so we have to check the cross element so it is always better to consult with your physiotherapist or your doctor that was uh, what the what about the ardhalasan okay so let's uh,